and we begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. We come together to uh, join Tony and Kelly today, and we give thanks to the Lord for the gift of married life. Your whole family and friends are here to pray for you. And at this point, we would like to invite the mothers to please come up here and do the uh, uh, unity candle. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that these, your servants, now to be joined by the sacrament of matrimony, may grow in the faith they profess and enrich your church with faithful offspring. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. We now sit down and we listen to the first reading.
phục vụ lời Chúa bài chức sách sáng thế Chúa là Thiên Chúa phán người nam ở một mình không tốt ta hãy tạm dựng cho nó một nội trợ giống như nó sau khi lấy bùn tạo dựng nên mọi thứ vật dưới đất và toàn thể chim chóc trên trời Thiên Chúa dẫn đến trước mặt Adam để xem ông gọi chúng thế nào và sinh vật nào Adam gọi thì chính đó là tên nó Adam liền đặt tên cho mọi xúc vật chim trời và muôn thú nhưng Adam không gặp một người nội trợ giống như mình vậy Thiên Chúa khiến cho Adam ngủ say và khi ông đang ngủ người lấy một xương sườn của ông và đắp thịt lại Thiên Chúa làm cho chiếc xương sườn đã lấy từ Adam trở thành người đàn bà rồi dẫn đến Adam Adam liền nói bây giờ đây xương bởi xương tôi và thịt bởi thịt tôi người này sẽ được gọi là người nữ vì bởi người nam mà ra vì thế người nam sẽ lìa bỏ cha mẹ mà kết hợp với vợ mình và cả hai nên một thân thể lời của chúa
Bài tiếp thư gửi tín hữu Do Thái Anh chị em thân mến Anh chị em hãy nhớ có lòng yêu thương nhau Đừng lãng quên việc đại khách Vì khi đại khách Có người tiếp đại các thiên thần mà không biết Hãy nhớ đến các kẻ bị tù đầy Và quay chính mình Anh chị em Như cũng bị giam giữ với họ Hãy nhớ đến những người bị đau khổ Và đừng quên rằng anh chị em cũng có thân xác như họ. Ai nấy hãy kính trọng việc hôn nhân và chớ làm ô uế loan phòng. Đừng tham lam. Hãy lấy sự mình đang có làm chủ vì Chúa đã phán. Ta sẽ không chê, uh, chê chối và từ bỏ con. Bởi đó, chúng ta có thể tin tưởng mà nói Chúa là đứng phù trợ cho tôi. Tôi không sợ hãi gì. Người đời ai làm gì được tôi? Lời của Chúa The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a wedding in Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the wedding. When the wine ran short, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, how does your concern affect me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servers, Do whatever he tells you. Now there were six stone water jars there for Jewish ceremonial washings, each holding 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus told them, Fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then he told them, Draw some out now and take it to the head waiter. So they took it, and when the head waiter tasted the water that had become wine without knowing where it came from, the head waiter called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves good wine first, and then when people have drunk freely, an inferior one. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this as the beginning of the his signs in Cana in Galilee, and so revealed his glory and his disciples began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated for a while. First, I would like to congratulate Tony and Kelly here and your parents, your family and friends. We have heard the story about the uh, changing of the water into wine, right? Are we going to have wine after this? We should. I think we, I think we should, right? The guests are waiting for the wine. <laughs> because you know what? Even during the time of Jesus in Palestine, wine is a symbol of blessing. It's a symbol of abundance. It's a symbol of joy and celebration. You see? And to run out of wine during a big wedding, wow, that must be a big wedding. You see, in Cana, in Galilee, it's like the Napa Valley of Israel. And they ran out of wine. 
Wow, that must be a big wedding. But the good thing about that wedding, they invited Jesus and the Blessed Mother in the wedding. And you know what happens when the Blessed Mother and Jesus are present, good things happen. Jesus changed water into wine. Here's the thing. There comes a time in our lives, in married life, sometimes we run out of wine. We run out of joy. We run out of blessing. We run out of abundance. We run out of reason to celebrate. What do we do? When that time comes, don't forget to invite Jesus and the Blessed Mother into your lives. They can change our sorrow into joy. They can bring back abundance into our lives. That's what they did. They invited the Blessed Mother and Jesus in the wedding. And so the story goes, when he changed the water into wine, the celebration continued without the, the crowd even noticing that they ran out of wine. Right? Blessing, abundance comes when we have Jesus and the Blessed Mother in our lives. Congratulations. Let's do this. I'd like to invite the wedding uh, party to please come up here. Please stand and we're going to do the, the exchange of vows. Beautiful. My dear friends, you have come together in this church so that the Lord may seal and strengthen the love in the presence of this church. You have been consecrated in baptism and now He enriches and strengthens you with a special sacrament that you may assume the duties of married life. And so in the presence of the church, I would like to, to ask you and you will state your intention and you will say, I do. Okay. Tony and Kelly here. Have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? I do. I do. Will you love and honor each other as man and wife for the rest of your lives? I do. I do. Will you accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the Lord Christ and His church? I do. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage and declare your consent before the church and God, I would like, uh, you're going to say the, uh, the, the, the vows, okay? I, Tony. I, Tony. Take you. Take you. Kelly. Kelly. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Amen. Amen. Okay. I, Kelly. I, Kelly. Take you. Take you. Tony. Tony. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and health. To love you. To love you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Amen. Amen. Beautiful. And now we are going to bless the rings. Okay. This is pretty exciting. Can you hold that for me? Heavenly Father, we ask to bless this ring. They are going to use in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, you go first. Kelly, wear this ring. Kelly, wear this ring as a sign of my love. As a sign of my love and fidelity. And fidelity in the name of the Father. In the name of Father and of the Son. And the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Okay. Okay, Tony, wear this ring. Tony, wear this ring as a sign of my love. As a sign of my love and fidelity. And fidelity in the name of the Father. In the name of the Father and of the Son. And the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You have declared your consent before the church. 
May the Lord in His goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with His blessing. What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. And now you are going to do the unity candle. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present to you our newly married couple, Mr. and Mrs. Tony, Tony Nguyen. You may now kiss the bride. Congratulations. Okay, you may now take your place and we're going to say the prayers of the faithful. Please stand. For every prayer, we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of married life. We thank you for Tony and Kelly as they begin their life together as man and wife. We pray that they be blessed in a special way. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty, Father. Show favor to our supplications, O Lord, and receive with a kindly countenance the oblations we offer for this, your servants, joined now in a holy covenant, that through these mysteries they may be strengthened in love for one another and for you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. With the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. And so with angels and saints, we sing your glory without end, we acclaim. Please kneel down. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Pope Francis, our Bishop Kevin, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and those who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. I would like to invite the uh, uh, newly married couple to please bow your head as we say the nuptial blessing. Let assembly invoke, invoke by your power, by our prayers, dear brothers and sisters, God's blessing upon this bride and groom, that in his kindness he may favor with help those on whom he has bestowed the sacrament of matrimony. Holy Father, maker of the whole world, who created man and woman in your own image and will that their union be crowned with your blessing, we humbly beseech, beseech you for these your servants who are joined today in the sacrament of matrimony. In happiness they may praise you, in sorrow they may seek you out, may they have the joy of your presence to assist them in their toil and know that in, you are near to comfort them in their need let them pray to you in the holy assembly and bear witness to you in the world and after a happy old age together with a circle of friends surround them they may come to the kingdom of heaven through christ our lord amen the lord be with you let us offer each other the sign of peace and you may now kiss the bride again there you go Peace be with you. You can uh, go down and uh, peace, say peace to your uh, family and friends. No, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna do a quick. Thank you for coming, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, come in. Thank you very much.
down. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word in my soul. The body of Christ. God bless you. The body of Christ. The blood of Christ. like to welcome now uh, who's uh, I think it's time for uh, it's the auntie the auntie to say a Thanksgiving speech
Thank you, Auntie. I, I think you said beautiful words. <laughs> Please rise. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the power of the sacrament we have received may find growth in this, your servants, that the effects of the sacrifice we have offered may be felt by all of us through Christ our Lord. Tony and Kelly, you can uh, relax now. <sighs> there you go. And uh, the ceremony is over, but your life together begins today, right now. Okay. And so with family and friends here with you, we, we, are, we are behind you. So don't forget to invite Jesus and the Blessed Mother into your life, right? So congratulations. Congratulations. We're so happy for you. We're so happy for you. The Lord be with you. And may the Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. We now go in peace. Thanks be to God. Mm -hmm.